Yo, what's going on, people? Right now, I'm doing my very first dual com with a special guest by the name of Ravenous Kells. Introduce yourself to the people. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> this is Ravenous Kells, and I'm very, very excited to be doing this dual com with you. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to do something for a while, um, and I figure why not do it um, with Ravenous Kells. So, oh know. yeah! Hey, we still have to uh, work on that song, you know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be hot. But um, basically, right now, she wanted to come on here and ask me a few questions. And the, the trend and the topic is go ahead and tell the people what it is. Well, since this video, well, I would like it to be called "Will You Be My Xbox on." I mean, what? Will you be my boyfriend on Xbox Live? <laughs> so, you, you guys are probably like, what? But, what I wanted to talk about, to prophecy about this, and to you guys, since you guys are listening, is um, dating online, meeting people online. And, it seems like a weird thing to a lot of people, because either they've never experienced it, or they haven't ever really talked about it. And I know that, like, people think, oh, well, dating online is weird because what if, you know, they're actually not a guy or a girl or whatever you're expecting them to be? Or what if they're just a stalker trying to kill you or something? Like, <laughs> it's always a negative connotation. And I just wanted to talk to you about this because you're, like, the first person that I know that met someone over Xbox Live and actually, like, met them and fell in love. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to ask you what was that like like when you first when you first uh, met your girlfriend like were your intentions to get to know her a lot better like were you did you even know you were gonna date this girl you know were you even gonna like meet her what were your thoughts like what was going through like, your head <laughs> honestly um i when i first started speaking to my girl um i kind of was just talking to her for a little bit like i met her in like oh six oh seven ish and uh -huh. we were talking, you know, back then I was like, oh, cool, female that's playing the game, so <laughs> I'm add her just for that one reason only. And um, oh. I started talking to her, and I thought she was real cool, but then, like, later on, I ended up kicking her off my friend list and um, <gasps> added her back <laughs> later on, and um, we ended up started talking, and, you know, I was dating other girls at school and stuff like that, and you got to think, this girl lived, yeah. like... 2,000, 3,000 miles away from me, so I never really expected it to be what it was, but then exactly. I kind of, with a, with a bunch of begging and pleading, I got her phone number, um, with a lot, it took <laughs> you me a while. You begged and pleaded? Yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't begging and pleading like that, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, let me get your number. <laughs> it took, it took, took me a while, but when I finally got it, you know what I'm saying, I didn't even call her the day I got the number, I called her like a few days later. Oh, wow. Um, and it's funny because she, I used to ask for a number like every day. Really? And it was like every <laughs> single day. And it was funny because she ended up giving me the number because I didn't ask one day. Like every day I'd wake up and oh, like, wow. get your number. <laughs> and she would always just laugh. So the day that I didn't ask for it, she finally gave it to me. And um, oh. so we were talking on the phone and... Um, Later on, um, I say, if, you know, we we, we kind of slowly started like talking like more and more every single day, and then um, uh -huh. so I've had her on my phone list for like a year by this time. So when Call of Duty Four mm -hmm. Ridge first came out, um, that's when we started getting getting uh, more into it, start talking more and more and more and more and more, and then uh, <laughs> and then eventually I was <laughs> like, um, Yo, why don't, why don't I come out there and see you? And, and she was kind of yeah. like, okay. <laughs> and then um, she ended up coming out here and seeing me instead. Um, she ended up seeing me uh -huh. before I graduated, actually. It was um, August. And um, on my birthday, she came to see me on my birthday. And the first thing I was like is, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was yeah. like, damn, I don't know if this is a joke or anything like that. <laughs> and then, like, once I seen her. You know, but prior to this, I knew what she looked like because of the fact we used to do video chats and stuff like that back when that was really popular. Yep. Um, yeah. So I knew what she looked like, and, um, you know, we used to talk to each other every night before we went to bed and stuff like that. And then um, when she finally came out, I was just, like, starstruck when I seen her um, come off the plane. I was like, Aww. oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, like, 
<laughs> she came to see me, um, and we just chilled for like three or four days, you know, and um, after that, she went back, and it was like the worst feeling in the world when she finally went back. I was like so Aww. mad, and um, I'll never forget because after she went back, I was like immediately like, yo, I'm about to move out there when I graduate. <laughs> so like immediately, I was like, yo, I'm coming, and then she ended up saying like, no, nah, I'll come to you. So we like start getting the arrangements how much everything was going to cost and at that wow. time she was working for the governor of new york so she was getting like wow. a lot of yeah she was getting a lot of money and she was also still in school so she was getting wow. school money and she was getting the money that she was making um so then she ended up moving out in february i think it was january or february and um mm -hmm. we've been living together ever since and that's been like two years Did now that's wow that's so crazy though so like you never had doubts you know like were you scared i was never scared mm -hmm. um i was kind of like playing by ear like kind of how i play my life is like uh -huh. every day at a time i live it up every day so i kind of didn't good. expect it to be as big as it was turned out to be i kind of just wanted to meet her yeah. chill relax but then it turned into something completely different you know, and I always told her I was in love with her before um, she came down here to see me. You know, I fell in love Aww. with her just by talking to her. Um, so when she actually did come out here and see me, I was like starstruck. It's like I seen LeBron James <laughs> or somebody walking down the street. <laughs> I was like, I'm <laughs> Oh, that's super cute. Yeah, it was, it was wow. hot. Wow. And like, that's we're actually about to really be sweet. Ready, um, we're about to move to New York next month. So, and I told her that oh my the reason God, why that's I want to so move exciting. back is because she came out here for me. So I said, well, I could, at least I can do is come out there for you. Oh, that's so sweet. See, this is this is why I think it's important to like share stories like this because there's a lot of like negativity about people who meet other people online, and. I think, like, your situation is a really rare one because, yeah, it's true other times, like, it ends up failing. Like, when you talk to somebody and then all of a sudden you stop talking because it's online and you guys don't hang out or whatever, but... But I think that, like, talking over the internet with someone is, like, the... One of the best ways of communicating because it's not so much about the physical that matters, like you have to hold their hand while you're mm -hmm. talking to them or you have to cuddle or something because what's really making you guys connect is like mentally like you guys are talking and it's not your hands that are making you guys connect and I think it's like really important because well if everybody were to be able to just hang out and hold each other's hands while they're skipping you wouldn't really find someone you really like because you wouldn't be talking to them as much and I think it's a good thing that like people over YouTube like really really have like this community of like, gamers like um the communities that we're a part of it's like it's amazing because we just talk to each other and we get feedback and whatnot we don't have to hang out actually like one another not like that but you know <laughs> and i just i just I'm trying to say you don't like me that's what that no. <laughs> i'm not saying that but i'm just saying it's i don't know just talking to people meeting people online is not such a bad thing as people think it is because a lot of positivity can come out from this and it's not even just online but it's anything in life really if you think about it because there's bad and good with everything and i just don't like how my parents or my friends or random people that i have talked to just say straight up oh dating online is stupid it's never going to work out long distance sucks and this and that and they you know they downgrade you they make you feel degraded or whatever and it's like well you don't have the right to say that because you've never experienced it and you should go buy an xbox and try it out <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy because now um it's a more of a source code for dating now is online like they took tolls and yeah. dating online is being more popular than actually meeting people in the movie theater yeah cause like, like how often are you gonna actually go up to somebody that's in the theater and say hey how are you doing my name's Kelly and it's like right. <laughs> it's like what cause at least online like 
let's say, like, for YouTube, we all have an interest in gaming, right? So that's what mm -hmm. makes us want to talk to each other because we share that interest and we already know that. But when you're, like, out in, on the street, someone that you pass by, like, you're not going to talk to them. Honestly, you're not. Even if you see someone who is, like, super handsome or super, like, gorgeous, you're not going to talk to them. It was, so, like, the best way to meet people the way we used to meet people back in the day was in school. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the girls you felt yeah. with or you liked, the girlfriends. But I mean, once you get to a certain age, and even even if you still stay in school, people start getting something about themselves where they just start dissing themselves away from new people. They just want to be mm -hmm. sticking with the same people that they grew up with, and the people they came in with, and prophecy. Yo, <laughs> yeah, what up? I think your mic totally just cut out. No, nah, it didn't. Hehehe <laughs>